that without doing it with the uh, the bender? Yeah, no way. <laughs> <laughs> finger on the third string and uh, using the uh, Parsons white string bender. the Parsons yeah. white string bender to bend the second <laughs> string as uh, you can, uh, I guess you could hold one up too couldn't you and uh, then as you let your your B down you could bend a third yep You're crossing like that way yeah I guess one of the other things you, that is an obvious advantage is you can hold a full chord and uh, and pull a string out of it. Yeah. And bend the string out. Yeah. Or or hold a, a non chord and bend a string into it and make the chord pull. Of course, the the obvious steel guitar. Uh, yeah. string with your left hand and you just play the chord it sounds like this and then if you just dip the neck down you've got yourself mm -hmm. an A chord and then you can come out of it with a seventh if you want by holding the third fret on your E string it's pretty simple to do a lot of uh, steel effects yeah, yeah. Of course, out of that same kind of position, too, you can get uh, the uh, the old Merle Haggerty country guitar effects. <laughs> Hitting uh, <coughs> both your first and second at the third fret. So you're letting off on the, on the uh, neck as you play the second. And then uh, switch your fretting so that you're playing your you're fretting your second string at the first fret, play your first again, and then use the pedal to bring it up. So. And again, you're only bringing it up a half tone when you yeah. bring it up. Yeah. Another question I was going to ask you is, uh, a lot of people have asked me, why do we use just the B string? And uh, I try to explain to him that uh, through years of experimenting, and I notice that your own personal guitar, which was a second guitar that was built with a bender on it, uh, you've got a, a set up there for the, the second, third, fourth, or fifth string. 
Uh, I notice you've got them all kind of discarded except for the B. <laughs> And I know that Clarence White did the same thing. Uh, why, in your in your own words, <laughs> why do you use the B string? Well, uh, I you can I guess go through it string at a time, but basically that's the only string that you end up with a desire to bend at times that you cannot bend it by hand without losing the whole rest of the chord you're trying to play. Do you ever bend the string up with the uh, with your finger and then pull up further with the with oh the, yeah, the yeah. Uh, I, I suppose more often what I'll do is work out of a position, change the position, and pull it rather than bending it and pulling it. Uh huh. Um, well, an example of that, I suppose, playing an A in the uh, in the D position at the ninth. Like that. Uh huh. So you're really uh, bringing the. Uh, you're, you're moving your little finger on the second string up to the 12, and then using the mechanism to bring it up another full step. And then uh, also, you find it pretty easy then to uh, to make your uh, a bend up to a unison note uh, and hold a chord at the same time too. But what I mean is by that is. Oh yeah. yeah. But you can put it together a lot of the time, so it's not a unison note. I something I can't do, but for uh, for anyone that happens to be a, a jazz-oriented guitar player. What What would you say would be the biggest advantage of uh, of the string bender uh, working on the shoulder strap as opposed to uh, foot pedals or or uh, uh, devices actuated by the hand? Uh, the right hand, that is. Well, the ones with the hand, uh, you're put into a real mess because as soon as you try to to concentrate on your playing, you also have to concentrate on where the palm of your hand is located. And of course, every time you move that, you're changing the angle of your fingers to the strings and changes the way you're picking sounds. Uh, it makes it real hectic. It's making your hand do more than it ought to have to do. Using a foot. Uh, well, that's the same thing that steel guitar players do, and the effect comes out about the same. So that it's a, it's a six-string, one-pedal steel guitar, and that doesn't work very well. <laughs> uh, would you say that the uh, the sound of a shoulder strap band is different than a steel guitar band in some way? Oh yeah, I, I don't know why it is, but I think you can tell with the same sounding guitar uh, if you have a guitar with a with a foot pedal hooked up or a guitar with the shoulder strap hooked up. The uh, the way the note rises is different between the two. I don't know how else to describe that. I don't know if it's the uh, the speed that it rises in terms of, of going up real fast at the beginning and slowing down as it gets closer to the note or what, but I know that there's a very different, definite difference between the two. Then you, you would say that uh, the, the shoulder strap uh, string bender would have its unique sound, of very, its very own, I guess, then. Oh, yeah. Well, there's another aspect to it, too. It's, uh, it feels natural to play it that way. So that it tends to work in with the way you want it to sound, rather than trying to keep your balance and move a foot around at the same time. 